Chapter 2 Season 4 has been accused of being one giant advertisement of Marvel, but now the season's coming to an end and we'll hopefully be able to get right back to the storyline that we all know and love. Wait, do you mean that Season 5 might be based on Star Wars? Hmm. What's going on guys? Bunch of Crunch Charmy, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. And you know, with Fortnite's Marvel themed Nexus War finally reaching its conclusion with a gigantic battle against the planet Baron Galactus, we thought we'd break down everything we know about next season's Star Wars themed offerings. But before we get into all of this, all right, with the current season coming to an end, I wanna know like how much you guys I've enjoyed it. Like, did you like the Marvel crossover and all the crazy changes that it brought to the Chapter 2 Island? Or are you just one of those people who just thought it was just a glorified Marvel ad? Whatever it is, let us know in the comments because we read every single one of them. Whether you are a major fan of the most recent Fortnite season or not, all right, Epic doesn't seem to be planning on slowing down when it comes to crossovers. The biggest news regarding the next season came in the form of a leak from Epic themselves when they accidentally published some promotional material ahead of schedule. After an update to the Epic Game Store launcher, a Fortnite data miner was able to see that a new launch icon had been added to the store's files, and it revealed that the Star Wars franchise would play a major part in Season 5. Battle Pass. At the front and center of the launch icon, you can very clearly see the Mandalorian from the recent hit Disney season with Baby Yoda floating in his pram to the right. Okay, so there are two other characters on the launch icon as well. On the left, we have a female character in what it looks like, pink body armor, and on the right, we have... Hmm. Okay, honestly, I'm not really sure what the guy on the right is meant to be, but he does have a pistol holster to his leg and some bandolas across his chest. Of course, this wouldn't be the first time the Star Wars universe was crash landed on the Chapter 2 island. We've already had massive lightsaber battles and a few cosmetics from the galaxy far, far away. But as far as character concepts go, the Mando is pretty much a perfect fit for the game. And the Baby Yoda Black Bring is pretty cool too. Will this be a full on crossover like the Nexus War season? Or will the Mandalorian just be a secret crossover skin like Deadpool and Aquaman? Whether it's a Star Wars themed battle pass, which is unlikely considering the other two two non-Star Wars themed characters on the icon or just a new secret collab skin, the likelihood is that you know we're gonna get a new Mandalorian inspired location on the map. Season 2 gave us Deadpool's boat, while Season 3 gave us Aquaman's Coral Castle. Logic would dictate that the Mando would also get his own location to go along with these two. We could see it either being a small location like the Razor Crest that the Mandalorian flies around the galaxy in, or perhaps the secretive underground catacombs of the Mandalorian covert on Navarro. On the subject of map locations, it might be time for us to get excited for the return of the elements of the older Fortnite map. While Epic executives have previously said that the entire old Fortnite map will never be returning, there are still a few bunch of just fan theories that, you know, supposedly have some leaks floating around that suggest parts of the old Fortnite map might somehow return in the upcoming season. Laser leaks on Twitter, a Fortnite data miner noted that Athena map panel had been changed in version 14.60 of the game. For those of you that don't know, Athena is the code name for the original Fortnite island. Does this mean that we're actually going to see the map return in the next season? Almost definitely not. <laughs> Donald Mustard has already said that the systems used on the original map and the systems used on the previous one just don't mix on the current iteration of the Fortnite engine. Does that mean we might see a glimpse of the old map during the event? Maybe. While we might not get to see the return of the old map, we can get our hopes up to see the return of an old classic item. A while ago, Epic Games removed the launch pad. It was a classic movement option that allowed players to safely soar through the air, escaping their enemies. Well, data miners have uncovered that some launch pad assets have been added back into the game files, meaning we might end up seeing the bouncy rotation tool back in the loop pool soon. So if you want to stay on top of how to use any item in the Fortnite loop pool, then there's one place that you have to check out after you're done watching this video, and that's ProGuys.com. Like with incredible one-on-one -on -one training, an incredibly fast VOD review system, and so much more, ProGuys.com is the number one spot for guaranteed rapid improvement in Fortnite.
So leaks aren't the only way that we've managed to get some new information about what's upcoming in Season 5. Earlier this week, Epic Games released a brand new trailer revealing something that had already been discovered in the game files, a brand new Fortnite subscription service. This is being billed as the ultimate Fortnite offer and the best way to maximize your Fortnite experience. Starting from the 2nd of November, which is also the beginning of the new season, players will have the opportunity to pay $11.99 every month to be a part of the new Fortnite Crew subscription service. You're going to receive a whole bunch of benefits from being part of the Fortnite Crew. For, for a start, like, you're going to get the battle pass for the full season. As long as you're subscribed to the Fortnite Crew, you're going to get full and immediate access to the season's battle pass without having to pay for it separately. You also get 1,000 V-Bucks every single month. The cost to buy a thousand V-Bucks is already $10, so the fact that you're getting access to both the Battle Pass for the season and an extra 1,000 V-Bucks is pretty impressive, and it really doesn't end there either. Every single month, a new crew pack is going to be released. These are monthly packs that include an exclusive new outfit and at least one matching accessory like a glider, pickaxe, or emo. The December 2020 crew pack is already pretty impressive, and the owners of the crew subscription will get a Galaxia and a Style, the Cosmic Llamacorn pickaxe, and the Fractured World Back Bling. All right, guys, so while we're on the subject of back bling, <laughs> it might hold some interesting secrets for the future of Fortnite. Due to the nature of the upcoming Season 4 ending event, many people are expecting Galactus to wreak some serious havoc on the current Fortnite map. There are even leaks suggesting the servers will be put into some extended downtime, similar to the previous Black Hole event. With that in mind, many members of the Fortnite community have suggested that the destroyed world of the Fracture World back bling is exactly what we have to look forward to in the upcoming coming season five though it is important to note that that's just a rumor all right guys don't expect the avengers or the inhabitants of the apollo island to go down without a fight though images posted by the main fortnite twitter account have already given us an idea of how the upcoming fortnite event is going to go and what we're going to be doing in it the first image posted on november 21st shows a bunch of battle buses that have been upgraded by tony stark flying away from galactus with the quote, the battle bus is loaded and ready to go. This is, this is our final stand to save all reality, which was followed up on November 24th with a short video showing the battle bus at maximum occupancy with green glowing bombs known as gamma cells. From this, we can extrapolate that Tony Stark's plan has been to essentially turn the battle buses into missiles that he plans to fire directly at Galactus. At which point, a bunch of bombs powered by the Hulk signature gamma radiation energy will explode and saturate Galactus, hopefully either destroying him in the process or just, you know, sating his hunger so that he will no longer care about the Nexus point. Will such a plan actually end up working? Well, we can only hope so. One thing that we can definitely be sure to look forward to over the course of Season 5 is the annual Winterfest celebration. As of right now, all right, we don't know when the new Winterfest is going to happen, but that's probably going to be revealed during the Game Awards show, since we know Epic has got to show something off here. All right, so last year, it happened on December 18th, and, you know, last year right up to the New Year's, so there's a high possibility that it'll likely happen at that time this year, too. So according to the well-known data miner Hypex on Twitter, a snowman NPC has actually been found in the files of the game, which no doubt has something to do with the upcoming Winterfest. According to him, this NPC is actually going to grant players some sort of a quest and is capable of having conversations as well as exploding and spawning loot. It's going to be the first NPC of its type in Fortnite Battle Royale. So far, NPCs haven't been able to really speak in any understandable language, and they've only ever wanted to just eliminate you. They weren't exactly quest givers. When you approach this snowy NPC, he's going to say, Greetings, my hot-blooded friend. Which task would you like to perform for me? And then it's going to assign you a quest, which could range from finding chests to who knows what else. One thing that we do know is that a new Renegade Raider skin will be arriving in the item shop this winter. It's going to be the gingerbread Renegade Raider to fit in with the holiday season. And while it's still currently encrypted, you know, the data miner Furcho on Twitter has managed to uncover what they think the skin is going to end up looking like when it eventually comes out. All right, guys, the final big element that might be making its way to Fortnite in Season 5 is actually, believe it or not, modding. The data miner Lucas7 Yoshi has discovered support for modding being developed in the game files. And while we're not yet sure how deep these modding tools will actually go, it could change Fortnite forever. All right, so let's take things back a moment to the beginning when Fortnite was still just an ordinary battle royale. It was great, 
right? It was fun, but people were missing something. They wanted to be able to customize things to their heart's content. And so Epic released creative so that people could just let their imaginations run wild. User generated content suddenly started to boom for Fortnite. And for a while, they'd even allow parts of user created maps to appear on the actual Fortnite map in the form of chapter one's block location. It's modding the next logical step. Hmm. The evidence for this comes from some files lingering in the game's install called Game Custom Installed Bundles. And the name of the plugin has a randomly you know, generated text element, meaning there could be many of them without name clashes. There is further information down in the API where the Valkyrie content plugin has create permissions so you can just create different plugins for users. It's impossible to know what modding Epic is going to allow. It will almost definitely be relegated to creative, but it will include things like new scripting tools or the creation of new assets. The only way we will know is when they finally release this feature. All right, guys, so that's everything that we know about season five. We've got the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda, the potential return of certain areas from the original map, Winterfest, you know, modding, and so much more. Are you guys as excited for the end of the Nexus War and the beginning of Fortnite's next season as I am? I hope you guys are. All right, Pro Guys family, bunch of crunch on me. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to stay up to date with all the latest Pro Guys content, you should definitely subscribe and hit that bell, all right? And if you guys like today's video, then why not hit that thumbs up? You know, come on. All right, guys, we will see you soon. Peace.